Welcome back guys and girls to another example video here on this beautiful channel where we go through everything and anything in life. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Well, we talked about functions last time and we made a nice little menu program where we used a function to calculate uh, a lot of different operations depending on what the user chose to calculate. Well, today I'm just going to go in to more of that menu, you know, uh, more into the menu side of things using functions. So I'm going to make a function that takes care of the menu part for us, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So let's start with a function here. It can be a, or actually it could be a boolean, boolean, let's see or integer because our choice is an integer in this certain case so let's say menu okay we're gonna do that and what we're gonna do we're gonna have an integer choice here which will be controlled which will be controlled by a reference variable okay so no then we can avoid yeah because we will just control our main choice in here okay so what's gonna happen is that in here we can do whatever we want all right, what we can do is we can make a prototype. This this might not be the best way to do it, but it's one way. Maybe it'll give you an idea um, into what you want to do. So we have C. C, is, C will be our choice, all right? And then we need our while loop. So let's say while choice is larger than zero, let's keep going, all right? And then we have to call our menu here and choice like that. So let us control it. And as well as down here. So what will happen is we get the first choice. Depending on what we choose, choice will be changed and we'll go into the menu and the menu will be shown and, and stuff like that. So and what will happen is stuff calculations will happen up here uh, depending on the menu. So what we can do is we can have a vector. We can actually include, we don't need CMath, sorry about that. Include vector We'll just make a simple registry program for names. Okay, so we'll have a lot of names. Vector, in that case we need string as well. I don't think you need to include string in C++11, the new standard, but, but we'll still do it. Um, string, uh, names, okay. So what we'll do is we'll let the user add names, remove the last name, and print all the names, and, and quit, obviously. So what will our menu do? Well, the menu takes the choice and it makes, it lets the user input stuff here and it changes the choice depending on what happens. So let's say input choice bra and then we'll give one, zero for quit, one for add name, two for remove last name, three for print all. Okay, just like that. C. Okay, then we can actually access, you know, remember the operator here, the ampersand operator, the reference variable here is directly connected to choice now because of the memory, because of how that works. The memory location for choice is directly sent in here, so we're completely manipulating this variable here. So we'll get a choice. Okay, we got our choice. And then depending on the choice, depending on what happens here, we will, in here, we will change things. Okay, then we'll make a, we can make a, actually, we'll save that for another, because sending in vectors and stuff is a little different. But we'll save that for another video. So, anyway, we get choice here. So the inputting of choice is taken care of by menu. So we get the choice here, boom. And then we'll have switch case for choice, switch case for choice. Okay, let's get all the cases in here, what we can have. And case three. And remember, zero we don't need because as soon as it is zero, we'll quit automatically. 
So yeah, all right, this is add, this is remove, and this is uh, print. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think when you, you have to excuse me here, all right? You have to excuse me here, but I'll try something. Print all. I think you need to send it in as a as a reference. As a reference. And we don't want to change anything in it. So what you can do is when you send things in as reference, remember that we're sending in the actual variable into the, the function, which is free to change if you would like to. If you put a constant before this parameter here, this means that you will not be able to change names, but you'll be able to access it. Okay, if we put const in here, we wouldn't be able to uh, input this here. Okay, input sin. C in into C. It, should, it shouldn't actually allow us later at runtime to change that. But uh, we'll just put constant there so we can't change it and then we'll try to just print this out dot size okay int and we'll make sure that vec actually is sent in there um, so we got print all and then we'll do we'll do this uh, vec at position I and line. So this will let us print out all the names. Okay. Um, bam. Okay. Um, so never, never bad to be too, you know, too obvious here. Uh, let us take this and actually make this a prototype. So it's a little easier. All right, and then we'll have a, actually we will send in vector in here as well so we can do everything in the functions. We don't want to do anything in here to make it all look all weird. Like we'll take the switch case and we'll put it in there. So we don't want const now because remember we're going to be adding things to it. This means that we need to keep it as a normal reference variable um, just like that. Okay. So remember, if you add something up here, we'll have to, you have to add something down here as well. So we'll send in our names vector into this parameter here. Okay. But what this is going to do is it's going to let us change things and do everything we want in the function itself instead of do this. So I'm just going to take this here. And menu is going to take care of everything for us. So um, we input something. We want to do that at the end because we got choice. We'll do it at the beginning actually. Choice and then it depends on what you do. So we'll run it once and then we'll run it again. Yeah, that seems, seems good. C. Okay. And add here. Uh, so we'll let the, the user add a name. Um, so we got to make a temporary variable here okay and then we'll say get line we have to do send that ignore here remember that because we're using a lot of C ins here uh, get line C in temp name all right so we'll store a name in here and then we'll add it to the vector so vec dot pushback and temp name so this means we added a nice new name here and we'll tell that to the user name added bra and line we have to be happy right live happy Woo! everything will be fine and then we can remove the last one so remember here we gotta check if it's empty so vec Remember this negative thing here, if vec dot empty, because empty is going to give us a boolean and this will turn it around. So if vec is not empty, that's how you uh, read this. So if it's not empty, we will remove something. 
So vec dot pop back or else we can use the condensed versions here. Else let's just say it's empty. Mm. List is empty. No. There we go. And the last one is print. And since we made a new function for print all, we'll just use that in here. So we'll just use that in here. And this knows that print all exists, even though print all is defined beneath this function, because we have the prototypes up here. And it knows where it can jump. You know, it finds it here and it jumps to the definition here. So no worries. And then we'll just say print all. Okay. Vic. There we go. Okay. That seems like we are pretty much done. Let's just run that. See what happens here. Okay. Any errors? Any errors? No, any er no errors. Let's try quit. Quit worked. Always quit first. Add name. Uh, hello, bro. Okay. Let's print all. Hello, bro has been added. Remove last. List is empty. Print all. No names there. Cool. John. The Mac. Bob. Bobette. Uh, Johanna. And then let's print all. And we got all of those. And let's remove a few names. And print them all. And it's working. It's working. That's great. Okay. So... Let's quit the program, and here you go, guys. I hope you learned something today. I mean, uh, a little more in-depth on functions and how they they interact with each other and how you can do stuff. Just remember that if you have prototypes, you don't really have to worry about the order down here. Okay, so we got that. One thing we forgot is that here you would always want to have some kind of wrong input manage. You know, or something more aggressive, like, you know, whatever. You can find, see, figure something out. Um, so print all. You have the menu being driven by one function here. This means our main is less cluttered. Like, everything, as soon as you see this, you'll know, oh, okay, this is the menu. Oh, okay, this is the menu going here. And then you can focus on other things. You can divide the program up in functions. So I hope you learned something. I hope this helped you out. And uh, hell yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.